Blanche, what are you doing lining shelves on a Friday night? I'm working off all my excess sexual Man. energy. <laughs> Why don't we just hook you up to the toaster and make pop tarts? <laughs> rewritten this Man. thing three times and the most persuasive slogan I can come up with is save our swamps no really we mean it <laughs> I like it oh no you don't no I don't it sounds yeah, like right. I'm selling mosquitoes Rose I mean not that they don't serve a purpose all life is precious yeah. <laughs> That's when the salesman from men's sportswear walks clear across the store into ladies' petite and says, oh, excuse me, miss, but I notice you've been having a hard time deciding between the turquoise strapless and the flaming red backless. Well, personally, I would like to see you in the backless. And I said, when? And he said, how about Saturday night? And I said, how about in your dreams, Sleezo? <laughs> Can you believe the nerve of that guy? What were you doing in Ladies Petite? By the way, is that Ms. Zbornak or Mrs.? I'm hoping it's Ms. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Good. I've already got that box checked on this form. <laughs> That walk was cool as hell. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to think, like, I'm looking back at the show. I'm like, did she always used to walk around like this? Or she lean like she's about to... <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> oh. Look at this creepy dude. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you have a match? I think so. Let's see. Here you go. This creepy Thanks. man. <laughs> Gotta love the live audience. Have you ever looked at fire? I mean, really looked at it? It's beautiful. And it's also amazing to think how much damage it could do if it fell into the wrong hand. <laughs> what the hell? Look at her. <laughs> uh, Rose. Are you going to be hey. very much longer? <laughs> walk again. Well, well, I'm just looking into alternatives. You know, hospitals have a rigid way of doing things. Oh! Why is she screaming? She's conscious. <laughs> I just want this to be an experience I'll never forget. <laughs> You're in luck. You're about to see one of our deliveries. We don't need the whole tour. <laughs> oh, Ma, Man. come here. I want you to taste this. What a classic show. <laughs> like you want to throw up. <laughs> well? Wouldn't it be easier to put a pillow over my face while I sleep? <laughs> I have a two o'clock appointment for an AIDS blood test. Oh. My name is... Well, it's... You know, we encourage anonymity, so if you'd like to give us a fictitious name for our files... Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Dorothy's Bornack. <laughs> Let's try it now with Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy, Boborthy, Banana, Fana, Foborthy, Fee, Fi, Bomorthy. Get out, Rose. Oh, now, wait oh. a minute. You girls don't believe this. Well, I mean, I'm not denying that's me in the photograph, but I am denying that anything happened. I just dropped off his folder. Then why does it say here that you were in his house for two hours? We were just talking. Then why does it say the explosion was so great it shattered windows in the building next door? <laughs> Rose, that's an article about an earthquake in Guatemala. 
I'm not going out with him. You go, Blanche. What? Well, you like him. I know you do, so you go. Well, I couldn't. Of course she couldn't. You stay out of this, dog. Huh? <laughs> well, why not? It's all over between us. He'll know that tonight. It's impossible. I'd, I feel like a... I feel like a... A backstabbing slut? <laughs> No. Well, how about that nun over there? What if she guilts us into giving it to charity? Well, I think we can agree that that's the last thing we want to do. <laughs> On the other hand, she is a shopping nun. She could be okay. Hello. Oh, hi. Yes, I heard you call. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I, well, I, I'm pretty sure I can make it. Just let me check my book. <laughs> Was. I seem to be clear. I don't know what I'm going to do about Jason. He's reached a point in his life where he's anxious to settle down and he wants us to have another child right away. <laughs> well, frankly, I don't know if I want another baby so soon. I understand. Wait a couple years and Medicare will pay for it. <laughs> Why did that seem, that seem real? That didn't seem like they were acting at all. <laughs> what a classic show, man. Uh, if you guys can comment below if this is on Netflix or somewhere, I will binge the hell, like binge watch this. I love binge watching. Oh, man. But that seemed like they broke, broke character right there. Wait a couple years and Medicare will <laughs> <laughs> Have it now, and the inquirer will pay for it. <laughs> Ma, thank God you're here. Arrested for prostitution. I can't believe him, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. <laughs> Good at making malts. Man. Good. I'm an expert. Didn't I tell you I used to work in a malt shop when I was in high school? Soda jerk? No thanks. I'll have a wallet. <laughs> gonna play or do you want to forfeit? No Soda way. Jerk. Now Dorothy's born act doesn't know the meaning of the word forfeit. And she's a teacher too. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the Japanese are ahead of us. It happened in class when she tried to do a six-count Cincinnati riff with a double pullback. <laughs> it goes something like this. Oh, go, on, Betty. <laughs> Margaret Weinstein did the same thing when they changed her medication. <laughs> when I think of the things I've told Miles, the things he's told me, the things we've told each other. Things we've said in a restaurant. Things we've said on our way to a restaurant. Things we've said on the way home. The two of you shared. We get it. <laughs> Complete this famous saying. Better late than... Blanche. Pregnant. <laughs> Rose didn't lose Fernando. I, I gave him to Daisy when she was helping out with the Damn. rummage sale. Well, then there's no problem, honey. Just call Daisy and get Fernando back. She's a very sweet kid. She'll understand. I tried that. She said no. <laughs> what do you mean? She's not a sweet kid anymore. She's holding Fernando for ransom. <laughs> Come on. Dorothy, she sent me one of his ears. <laughs> Tell me, how long does Rose have to take care of this pig before she gets the money? It'll, as long as he lives. Oh, forget it. Well, I split the money with you girls. Forget it. How long does a pig live? About 25 years. Forget it. How old is this pig? 
29. Welcome, baby! <laughs> Exercising doesn't bother you. No, not at all. What is it, some kind of therapy you have to do? No, I just like to stay healthy. I have to break this to you, Bonnie. You're in a hospital. The exercises aren't working. <laughs> Dorothy, where's my heating pad? How should I know? If this isn't it, I'd like to know what other electrical appliance you're using under that blanket. <laughs> Ma, now that you're finished, could I see that? <laughs> Next time I'll ask you to hand me the candlestick. <laughs> and I'm famous for my Lindstrom surprise. <laughs> what in the world is that? Herring pie. Yeah. This surprise is, you think it's pie, like an apple, you know, but when you bite into it, it's herring. <laughs> I think I see now how it happened. Last evening at dinner, when Miss McGlynn saw Blanche give Kendall Nesbitt her key, she was furious. She dropped a steak knife into her purse. Big deal, I took a whole place in Not now, <laughs> Bob! I think I remember that episode, I think. Oh, man. You know, it's like when you grow up and you kind of revisit things, you just you just realize how much like the older shows were just so so much better. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of good shows out today, but just the you know the whole like censorship and everything. Um, like, you know, we all love Modern Family. That's such a great, great, great show. But this right here, man, these four women. I, I forget which ones are no longer with us. So rest in peace to all of those who aren't anymore. But um, just a great, 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 great show. Classic, man. When you say classic, like, you know, and this comedy is just... <laughs> They were so good together. All right. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all again for the requests. Um, you know, it's just it's just so, so much fun doing these reactions, listening to all this. I mean, uh, doing these reactions and I was going to say listening to music, <laughs> but getting all this uh, laughter, man. I always say it's very, very therapeutic when we all need it. So, again, thank you all for watching. Peace out.